discolored, chalky, weather-beaten headlight housings. They're not only unsightly, these things are a serious safety hazard, but you don't have to spend thousands of dollars replacing your vehicle's old headlights. You can clean them up yourself, and it's easy. In this video, I'm putting some commonly available headlight restoration kits to the test to see how well they perform or don't perform, so keep watching for the full story. Driving around with hazy, oxidized headlamps makes it much harder to see and be seen at night. It's kind of like your car has cataracts. For this video, we bought, yes, bought, six different headlight restoration kits so we can conduct completely independent testing. No manufacturers were involved here. And I'll be judging these kits on a few criteria, namely efficacy, ease of use, and cost. And as you can see, I also grabbed a pile of old headlight housings from my local pull-apart junkyard. Now these give us an opportunity to properly evaluate each kit and see how they compare. Now, no, this isn't a perfectly scientific test. These headlight housings are from different vehicles and they've all been subjected to who knows what over their lives. Still, this will give us a good idea of how effective these kits are. Also, we did a whole nother video looking at how effective toothpaste and a popular brand of spray lubricant are at reviving headlights. Are these common household items better than professional kits? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You've got to watch that feature yourself. Anyway, in no particular order, here's a rundown of the headlight restoration kits we're evaluating. First up, there's the 3M Ultra Headlight Restoration Kit, which goes for roughly $18. It promises to improve brightness by up to 200% and provides UV protection for two years. Next, we have the Mother's New Lens Headlight Restoration Kit, which checks out for around $22. Increasing its versatility, according to the manufacturer, this setup can also be used on other plastics like taillight housings, convertible top windows, and helmet face shields. Our most expensive headlight restoration kit is from Meguiar's, a top shelf brand, though at the time of shooting, this one only stickers for about 32 bucks, so it's hardly a budget buster. This kit looks comprehensive and promises to keep lenses clear for one whole year. The lowest priced headlight restoration kit we're evaluating is made by Turtle Wax. This basic affair was shipped in a small manila envelope and looks like some generic brand knockoff. At only around $11, is it actually effective? Well, we're gonna find out. The Cerakote Ceramic Headlight Restoration Kit only goes for about 17 bucks and promises professional grade results, but we'll see if that's true or not. On the plus side, this option is made in the USA and requires no additional tools beyond what's in the box. Last but not least is the roughly $20 Sylvania Headlight Restoration Kit. It should include everything you need to revive battered lamp housings, including a couple sheets of paper towel for applying different compounds and whatnot. How thoughtful. Okay, so that's an overview of the kits we're testing, but before we dive in, a quick note about how they work. Each kit is different, but the instructions are all essentially the same. I'm not going to cover every step for each one of these or this video would end up being like two hours long. Still, here's the gist of it. In simple terms, you prep the lens surface and then either polish or wet sand it, usually in multiple steps. And finally, you apply some sort of sealant to keep things clear and bright. While doing this, there are a few important tips to be aware of as well. One, make sure you steer clear of your vehicle's paint. Some kits include masking tape to help with this, but you might want to have an extra roll on hand. Obviously, this won't be an issue here as all of these headlights have been mercilessly ripped from the vehicles they were installed on. Tip number two, some kits require a hand drill, which should make things much easier. Just be careful when polishing. You don't want to push too hard, which could cause more damage. Number three, Make sure to take your time for the best results. Don't rush things. Tip number four. After completing the restoration process, you usually have to wait several hours until the sealant cures before your vehicle gets wet. So keep that in mind if it's raining and a week past your wife's due date. Finally, hit the links in the description box below if you need to buy a new headlight restoration kit. 
Okay, with all of that out of the way, here is how everything stacks up. All right, the testing is done, and what did we learn today? Well, for one, my arm sure is sore from doing all of that sanding, so I do not recommend you go out and refinish headlight assemblies in your free time. But the big takeaway here, I think, is the difference between all of these kits. The performance differences are stark between our top performing recommendations and the worst one in this comparison test. So I kind of figured they would all be much more similar, but in point of fact, they are not. As for recommendations, my number one pick goes to Meguiar's right here. Now, it doesn't give you quite the shine the Sylvania kit does, but it is much easier to use. You're getting about 98% of the shine here for half the work, so that is a very good uh, deal. Uh, beyond that, one thing of note, the polishing pad, it kind of broke on me while I was using it, so I ended up having to sand by hand, so be aware of that. In a very close second place finish is the Sylvania kit. It gives you, again, a little bit better results at the end of the day, though it is a lot more work. Either one of these kits, though, you're going to be happy, and I highly recommend them both. Next up, we have the Mother's Kit, which, as you can see here, it's not quite as shiny a finish as you get with Sylvania or Meguiar's, but it's still remarkably good, and the difference between the treated and untreated sides is clear. Get it? <laughs> clear difference, because it's a... Uh, never mind. Anyway, this kit is a good recommendation. Uh, it's fairly easy to use, and you probably will be well served by it. Fourth place finish goes to 3M right over here. Again, this kit requires a drill, as you saw, though it is fairly easy to use, though the difference between the treated and untreated sides are not quite as stark as I would like to see, but still, it worked fairly well. So this is a, a pretty good option. Next up, Cerakote. This one is a maybe recommendation. It did a nice job cleaning the lens, as you can see, though the last step, sort of the sealant step of the kit, the pouches, the moist towelettes were sort of dried out and very crystallized, so I don't know that they gave quite as good a finish as they could have. So if you do go with the Cerakote kit, I recommend you keep the receipt in case you got to send it back because it may be expired. And finally, perhaps predictably, in last place we have Turtle Wax. It didn't do a whole lot to clean this headlight housing. Not a big difference between the treated and untreated sides. And again, this is the cheapest kit in this comparison, so I'm not entirely surprised, but none of these headlight restoration kits are very expensive, so for just a few bucks more, you can get a kit that performs much better. But wrapping things up, don't buy the Turtle Wax kit. You don't want that. Any of our other recommendations are much better options. And of course, if you do need a headlight restoration kit, make sure you hit the links in the description box below where you can purchase any of these phenomenal products.